All right, good morning. God bless each and every one of you. It is 7.50, the 10th of July. God bless you guys in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Boy, I'll tell you, dreams, boy, they just go. They just get poured on, man. Unreal. Anyhow, you guys, the last several days we've had like just heavy overcast clouds over us. Very little sun coming out, but uh, I could see in those clouds where you know that stuff that they're spraying out of the planes, it'd be all spiraled out, you know, just you could see it spiraled out where it was mixing it into whatever these clouds, you know, lots of it. And then last night I seen it in different areas above us. Even though it was super overcast, they still are spraying this. You guys, those of us that are fully awake and we know what's going on, and uh, even though they call us conspiracy theorists, um, the enemy's out there doing that. Okay, they don't want people to catch on. They don't want people to wake up. And sadly. A lot of this stuff is poisoning and whatever, the sleep, the oil that they're in because of the world, their love, the care of it, uh, it keeps them from uh, acknowledging, recognizing. And that's why we see even like people with the phones in their faces like this still every day. I'm going to read a little bit more about it again today, you guys, from Deuteronomy. Where the devil, all right, if the word of God is telling you that you should be like this with the word of God, and you should be teaching your children like this with the word of God, well, today you just see the children like this, you see the parents like this, but with a cell phone, they're not reading the word of God. They're not, you know, if they do, it's, you know, I don't know when, but, you know, a lot of them don't even know what's in there let alone believe it. <clears throat> they say they believe. Yet, their actions say something different. You know? They're not fully, uh, and then to be letting your children do this now, even, you know? It, well, it's just easier because, you know, oh, they'll be up in an uproar if I don't, and, you know. All right, man, you know, you know what time it is, man. It's time to unplug. It's time to unplug from this. You know, somebody I knew sent me a video the other day, and uh, it was an hour and a half. You know, some guy, long hair. You know, and the word of God says, you know, you shouldn't wear, men shouldn't wear their hair like women, you know. And I'm sorry, but, I, you know, and then the guy was super slow talking. I don't have internet, okay. I'm not going to sit down there. I just go down there and load up a video, and that's it. Now, people stop watching my videos, <laughs> great. You know, start getting into the word of God. Read it, be aware. You know, we got to be separated from this. God's pouring out his spirit. He's showing people things. But I think if you, when you're more like this, with the uh, watching everything on the internet, remember, there's cell towers. We got to separate ourselves, come out from among it. You know, that's what I've been trying to tell people. And uh, I don't go down there to watch videos. I don't. You know, I, I watch uh, um, Wake Up. Because they're posted all the time the things that the enemy's doing. Um, people, to the children. You know, when they get people, just keep people living and moving on like everything's fine. And it's not. And like those children, the nurse, the lady's going around like she had a plastic needle. Like she's giving them all shots and like it's fun, it's fun. You know, and these children don't know any better. Anybody that's awake, your child's still going into these schools. I'm amazed. I just don't see how. They're worried about the government and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not worried about the government. I trust in the Lord. I'd get my kids out of there. 
I would have my kids out of the schools. Number one, they already said that they're in our school. They got to be vaccinated. You wouldn't take it yet. You still live them. Anyhow, in the beginning, you guys, um, when this first started with me, I was at a gym working out. And I seen the number 44 minutes and 44 seconds on my machine that I was on. And I seen a tag in front of me on a car looking out the window because the ambulance came up behind it. That's what made me notice how long I've been on my machine. It was 44 minutes, 44 seconds. <clears throat> and then traffic backed up for, I'm going to say, a quarter of a mile right to the front of my window to where I was at. I didn't even notice it. Because the music they play in those gyms, I couldn't hear it. You know, I didn't know until I see that ambulance. When I seen the 44 minutes and 44 seconds, the tag on that car said uh, 44 dash TBU, like to be you. And that's another number I looked up, G44. And it's a bet hook, a hook. Look it up, G44. It say he says I will put a hook in their jaw and I will pull them uh to me. You know, there's a lot going on, you guys, a whole lot going on, and there's a reason for everything. And these phones can be the biggest distractions. You don't know who you're watching and how accurate and how serious and how real, or if they're really called. Yeah, they might be sounding all good and everything. But yet, what is it that they're not saying? These are the things you got to be watching for, okay? Like Zeb from Israel. Guy sounds all right, but I remember when they first started coming out with these shots. He was over there wearing his mask while he's witnessing, saying, Israel's waking up. They're waking up. There are people accepting the messages here. But yet, I never heard him speaking out about this, the vaccines. Never heard him speaking out. Never even heard him say he wouldn't do it. Yet, is he walking around now without a mask because he has been taking the shots? There's a lot of people that are saying you can't go here and you can't go there. And doesn't scripture say don't go there or don't go don't go here or there? You know, because I'm not there. And where is it that people like to go? They like to go here and they like to go there. You know, even though Christ isn't there, you know. You gotta get your shot. You wanna go to those places. You wanna go and do what the world's doing. You gotta go get your shot. That's what it's coming down to, you guys. Anyhow. Alright. So in Deuteronomy, you guys. A lot of this... You know, they think it don't apply to us. Yes, it does. You know, keeping God's commandments. Yeah, it does. We got to be, you know, we're saved by the blood of Christ. Nobody would make it if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus Christ. Nobody. Nobody would make it. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses us from our sins. Then he takes our sins, nails them to the cross. And the Father sees his the precious blood on us and now we become his children okay, because of the blood of Christ and uh, does that mean we don't have to keep his commandments you know what the law and all that it tells us what sin is and if you don't keep it if Jesus said he came here for sinners and ungodly people he came here for us to save us those who believe on him and call on his name will be saved. Okay. Now, it also says those the wrath of God is coming on the ungodly and sinners. Okay. Ungodly and sinners, the wrath of God. Why? Because they didn't, they say they did with their mouth, but their heart is far from them. How do you know their hearts far from them? Look at what they're doing every day. Diligently. Are they diligently acknowledging God's power in all this? Are they diligently? What are they doing? They set their alarm clocks, their worldly alarm clocks, to the things of the world still. 
guys, we're getting to that narrow. Straight is the way and narrow. And few be there that find it. We're getting to that narrow now. Remember, terrors are gathered first. <clears throat> We're getting to that narrow where you're going to be seeing more. You understand? In the beginning, it was easy. We were seeing the corruption of the government, uh, Hollywood, television. They were Satanists. Now we see where the church is, and they're all got their 501c. Even the church of Satan has a 501c. You know, where do they get it? From your government. And you got Muslims, and they got their, we got all these different religions here, right here in America. They all have a 501c. I mean, it, it's obvious, you know, the Lord's, everything that was hidden, it's all come abroad. It. Now we get into that narrow where more are being separated, even more. Here in uh, chapter 4, I'm going to read 9. i go into it a little bit further. Only, only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them to your sons and your sons' sons. Teach them. You're supposed to have this, you know, or listening to your Bible app, anything but the world. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb. It's, it goes out here and it says, Learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. You know, and he talks about the land that you go in to possess. To possess it. As long as you are acknowledging God and his ways, then he's going to make sure everything comes abundantly that you need. The rain, the dew, you know, your gardens, everything, your food. He's going to give you all the things that you need. Yeah, but when you start having problems, these things aren't coming. As people are turned away from them into, we've let all these false idols, religion then. It's it's in here in Deuteronomy about that too. Those that let that that false idol stuff in. This is. Um, All right, let me continue. You know, like the Ten Commandments, you know. <laughs> if you're not keeping them, then you're breaking the laws, aren't you? If you're not loving the Lord our God with all your heart first above everything, loving uh, your brother and your neighbors as you love yourself, when you stop doing those things, that means that's the evil that's come in. And that's what this world has become. Neither shalt thou commit idolatry, nor steal, nor kill, bear false witness against your neighbor. Man, I got uh, mockers, scoffers making videos doing that. And they've done it so much, they've done it openly, where anybody that's been watching me would know that they're liars. Neither shall you desire your neighbor's wife or cover your neighbor's house or his field or his maid ser men servants or maid servants, his ox, anything. And here in 6, 5 through 10, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. These words which I command you this day will be in your heart. When the Holy Spirit's abiding in us, you guys, these things are happening to us now. 
what's happened to us now. And we diligently, diligently are seeking him, not the things in this world no more. I see people still wanting to do worldly things here. I don't even have to say anything. I already know. I got my answer already. I don't have to say nothing to him. I hear this all the time, you guys. I see it all the time. I see what people do, what they tell me. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto your children. You shall talk of them when you sittest in your house. What is it that people do in their house? All oh, those phones, boy, they keep them busy. It just gives me more free time to look at my phone, too. You know? Yeah, they, they love those. That's what people do. They find something that does keep those children busy. Oh, yeah. Set them in front of the TV, turn some curtain. Oh, yeah. It keeps them busy. Then I don't have to listen to them my whole life. And they're grown up and gone, and I didn't have to deal with them. Boy, those TVs, they, they're wonderful. Yeah. They don't realize. Put them in front of Satan. They're letting their, letting their little minds be corrupted things of the world. And this is what it says you should do. This. Okay. This is 6, 7 in Deuteronomy. Chapter 6, verse 7. <clears throat> Thou shalt teach them diligently unto your children. And you shall talk of them when you sit in your house. And when you walk by the way. And when you lay down, and when you rise up, when you lay down and when you rise up, and you shall bind them for a sign on your hand, they shall be as the frontlets between your eyes. Excuse me. I didn't have my little speaker hooked up, but. Okay, you see how it says your frontlets between your eyes. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And what is it? You got cell phones? You let your children, you know? I hope you still aren't doing that. A lot of people don't want to read Deuteronomy. They don't think it means much. You know, oh, that's then. It don't mean nothing. Really? What I'm reading to you is how it tells us how we're supposed to be living. Why the whole world is deceived. You got people out there, all the Old Testament we got nothing to do with this. Jesus came so that, you know, all who believe will be saved. Well, he said all who believe in him will keep his commandments. Guys, Jesus is God. He does not change. He and the Father are one. Jesus didn't say he came here to get rid of the Old But write them upon the post of your house, on your gates. And it shall be when the Lord your God shall have brought you into the land which you swore unto your fathers, to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob, to give you great and godly cities, which thou buildest not. And goodly cities, houses full of good things, which thou fillest not. Wells that are digged, that you dug not. God gave them all these things. It goes on in 7, 22 through 26. And the Lord your God will put out those nations before you, little by little. Thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beast the field increase upon you. But the Lord thy God shall deliver them unto you and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed. And he shall not, and he shall deliver their kings into your hands. Thou shalt destroy their name from under heaven. There shall no man be able to stand before you until you have destroyed them. The graven images of their gods shall you burn with fire. You shall not desire the silver or gold 
that is on them, nor take it unto you, lest you should snares unto you. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shall you bring in an abomination into your house, lest you be cursed, thing like it. But thou shalt utterly uh, detest it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is a cursing thing. <clears throat> Here, you guys, it's telling you clearly, it shall not, neither shall you bring an abomination unto your house. You think it's a coincidence we had a president named Obama? And this is a nation? Obama nation? You think it's a coincidence? I don't. <laughs> okay. Coincidence. Abomination. And we had a President Obama. There's no coincidences here, people. Uh, a lot of these things have been hidden from people, yet revealed to us, okay, in these last days. There's a lot of things happening right now, you guys, that people can't see, nor do they understand. And it's because of what the Word says. It's hidden from them still. Satan has it hidden because of the cares, the love of this world, the pleasures in it. Uh... It's getting worse for some people. And then they have a president named Trump. Pence. Trump Pence. One word. You know, Trump Pence. You know, they don't understand it. We do. That's because the Holy Spirit, it, it, it teaches us all these things. We hear, we see, we understand, we know. No matter how much we tell them, they just aren't getting it like we do. Why? Because they're diligently still focused on the world. They're diligently still, you know, playing the same thing they play every week. You know, this, what I just read to you says we do this daily. Daily. Teach your children. And they still don't see, even the church, okay? Television, letting it creep into their houses. Cartoon, letting them watch their children watch them. Because it's a good babysitter. Well, that, what do you think they're teaching your children? Huh? They're not teaching godly ways. What are they they're learning something godly on those uh, cell phones between their eyes? No. As um, the uh, 46 chromosomes, the 46 years it took to build that temple back then. These aren't coincidences. To let us know now what time everything is, what's about to happen. They still can't receive it when you tell it to them. Uh, that Zeb from uh, Israel, I've never once heard him talk about any of these things. None of them. None of them. All he does, he tells people what they want to hear. Oh, they're waking up over there. They're waking up. They're doing our part over here. But I don't hear him warning anybody. Nothing. When you see these things coming, you're supposed to be warning people. You know, I made comments on this channel. Guess what? I didn't so much as get a thumbs up, thumbs down, not even an answer. Not even an answer. I'm wondering if my comments are even going to this channel. You know? Guys, there's a reason why we know what we know. When you don't hear other people sharing these things, okay? I don't have to give you a video for an hour and a half telling you our body is a temple. The Word of God says it, okay? The Word of God says it. It's your body. Don't you know that your body is a temple? Okay, it's always said that in there. Okay, We always knew. It's always said. What? It took us 46 years to build this temple. We didn't always know we had 46 chromosomes until this generation. We didn't know it until then. Now we know it. But yet nobody was talking about it. Did not that tell you anything? Shit in the churches have known? Yeah. Shit in the... All right. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 8, 
And all the commandments which I command you this day shall you observe to do, that you may live and multiply and go in to possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. You shall remember all the ways which the Lord your God led you these forty years in the wilderness humble you and to prove you to know what was in your heart whether thou would keep his commandments or not and he humbled you and suffered you to hunger and fed you with manna which thou knowest knewest not neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that eateth out of the mouth of the Lord does man live. <clears throat> now, there's somebody out there I, I blocked him off my channel, and his name is called Deaf. I can't hear Deaf, D E A F, bread. Deaf bread. Okay, in other words, don't hear the word of God. That's their channel, Deaf Bread. And I notice he curses a lot, cusses a lot, and tells people that they should get guns, doing all the things that the enemy would have you do. Okay. I've seen him making comments on uh, Wake Up's channel, and I made sure Wake Up knew about it. You know? They're, uh, they're in all kinds of forms, you guys. You know, just, just got to watch for them. And you'll know them by what comes out of their mouth. And the names they put on their thing, you know. They're disguised, too. You got to, it's also a lot of times, what are they not saying? Because you remember, Holy Spirit's teaching you these things. Not me. You know these things because of the Holy Spirit, not, not me. Therefore, you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear him. The word of God says, your ways are not my ways. My ways are not your ways. And as we're so far off course, it's not even funny. Anyhow, there's no coincidence in any of these things, you guys. It's very important, you guys. Look at uh, Deuteronomy 11, 18 through 25. Therefore shall you lay up these words in your heart and in your soul and bind them for a sign upon your hand that you may be as that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sittest in your house and when you walkest by the way when you lie down and when you rise up you shall write them upon the door post of your house and upon your gates that your days may be multiplied in the days of your children in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give them as the days of heaven upon the earth for if you shall diligently keep all those commandments I command you, and to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to cleave unto him. Scripture also tells you guys, seek the old paths, the old ways. Christ came to wash away our sins. We're living in a corrupt, evil world. Your sins have been washed away. You think that means to continue in it? No. God forbid. You know? Seek the old ways. Do that. Follow them. Teach your children. People aren't doing that. I'm telling you, man, it matters. Who is it? Revelation 12, 17. The devil makes war with the remnant of the woman's seed. Okay? Those who keep the commandments of God and the testimonies of Jesus Christ. I remember when Trump came out with that. Uh, when Trump was in office, he goes, uh, the military is coming out with these shots, and it's called Operation Warp Speed. 
Who is it that Satan makes war with? The remnant of the woman's seed. Okay? War on the woman's seed. That's what it says in the Bible. Satan makes war on the woman's seed. Put a P on war and you got warp. Put a P on seed and you got speed. Trump's very much involved in this. Uh, here, 23. 2311. Then will the Lord drive out all these nations from before you, and you shall possess greater nations, mightier than yourself. Every place where the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness to Lebanon, from the river to the river. Ephraim, even the uttermost sea, shall your coast be. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you in dread of you upon the land that you shall tread upon as he has said unto you. And it tells you right here, it says in uh, 12, These are the statutes and judgments which you shall observe and do in the land which the Lord your God, the fathers, giveth thee to possess it. All the days that you live upon the earth, you shall utterly destroy all the places where in the nations which you shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains and upon the hills, under every green tree. You shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And you shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. Let's look at this 501c we got going on here, you guys. 501c. This government, the United States that everybody likes to salute, the flag that they put in front of all their churches. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see them on their Muslim temples too. I wouldn't. Church of Satan, sure. Put that flag out. It doesn't matter. Because, <clears throat> see, those are secret societies that are running this nation and everything. you got perversion running these nations now, homosexuals. They're everywhere. Why do you think it's like this? Place is cursed. They're damned. They're going to go to, they're going to be burning in the lake of fire here real soon. They're terrorists. You know, they hate what, it's the spirit that's in them. They hate this message that I'm, they hate it. They have a passion, man. Yeah. yeah, it's I've been having uh spiritual warfare since I started this a long time ago. I get stronger for it. I get stronger. It doesn't weaken me. I get stronger. But greater is he that abides in me than he that is in the world. So everything that I just read to you guys about you do these things. You be diligent. It's not me. It's the Father in heaven. I get stronger for it. You got a calling. It says that many people were called. You were chosen. Why? Tell me why. A lot of people are waiting for their time going to Disney World, parks, amusement parks. Still putting their children in front of television. Still have them, you know, keep them nice. I don't think that's a good idea. I think you should be doing what the Word of God says. You know, for you to be reading them, speaking diligently to your children about them. Children will listen to you. You just got to want it. No, I'm not an easy channel to listen to for that because I just I don't I don't like candy cane. Nothing I'm not out here. I'm not here to tickle anybody's ear either. All right, you guys. God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. All who call on his name and believe he died and raised on the third day. Fix your sins and nails them to the cross. Okay, now. What are you going to do? Yeah. You going to go down there in that mire, roll around in the mud with the 
pigs. I'm going to go eat that vomit. You know? Be careful, man. It's all out there on YouTube. I'm going to lead you to air. To lead you to air. Have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, Lord, and our Savior.